What's going on with y'all? Y'all already know what time it is. It's let's talk about it. Episode four. We uh we gonna let boss lady start it off. You already know it's Sean meet you in here. Go on ahead and let them know what you want to talk about today. What you want to talk about? Mm. You forgot already. Oh well, let me tell you about this then. Oh. But uh, so um. You know, uh, since, uh, what's his name? Crunchy Black, remember him, right? Yeah. You know, his, you know, I told you his daughter got killed. Right. right. Oh, so, yeah. You know, he, uh, he just did an uh, interview on Vlad, uh, recently, or whatever, talking about the shit. So, basically, her, her baby daddy, he was, um, I said baby daddy, well, it ain't even her baby daddy. But, uh, well, I don't know who he, I don't, I, that's her boyfriend. For a fact, but anyways, he was um uh, he had just shot at some people, and shit, and so when they got killed, it was retaliation. But prior to him them getting killed, he had just got uh either shot at or whatever or something like that. And Crunchy Black said he had had a conversation with dude and let him know like don't be having my daughter around that you know what I'm saying this bullshit. But he said his daughter was game bang whatever he said that was he said she was just like him like real street and like you know uh, one of them gangsta ass females he said that was his whatever but he said that um he even told his told the told the daughter like because she he said the car that they was riding around there it was her car but he told her like to stop riding in the car with him because he knew that you know all he getting shot at like he ain't basically ain't with the shit the app type shit and whatever, and so she, she was. He said she hadn't been. She wasn't getting in the car, lady. But this specific day, he pulled up on her, and she got in the car. And he said the niggas was following him. That specific day. Yup. But um. Shit, how she wasn't getting in the car with his ass when it's her car. Because shit, for her to be for her safety type shit. But look, Crunchy was like, man, he fucked up in the head because he like, he feel like, motherfuckers like, oh, fuck Crunchy. Like, basically saying like, his name, his name ain't good in the streets. Like, he, he, he said he been putting work in, you know, out here for years and he feel like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas should have enough respect not to, you know, shoot, shoot, kill his, you feel me? But... You know how that shit goes. Shit, no matter what she do. Well, she's innocent, though. But I feel say shit. She probably was with his ass that killed the nigga. No, nah, she ain't know nothing about... She, he said that she ain't know nothing about uh him laying some shit down. He ain't tell her. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but, you don't make it right at the end of the day, but I'm just saying. You know, because it's that thing. You reap what you sow. But... That shit is unfortunate, you know, because it's just like what she finally do, get in the car. Like you said, Shay Bang, getting in the day when she finally do. That happened. So that was unexpected. She got killed unexpected as hell. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't even protect them. No. They uh, aired the whole car out as soon as, uh, you know, they got comfortable in that motherfucker. They hopped out and aired that motherfucker out. And then, um, so now you know Crunchy, you know he in the streets and shit. So he basically was on that motherfucker on Vlad shit, let, letting it be known. Because, you know, they, they they caught one of the people. Okay. They got one person. But <coughs> but this nigga was on Vlad letting it be known <coughs> that he know who, who all the niggas is. <coughs> he do. Bae. <coughs> That's the good weed. <laughs> But he's on the, but he's on that bitch letting their ass know. So he know. He know cause he he's like they all brothers. And they heard that. And so he said y'all he he said y'all too. He like y'all know who y'all is. Just know I know who I know just know I know what's up. Like he basically he was like, That's why I'm on here, Vlad, so they can know that I know. I'm like Post Crunchy, you can't I believe her cause he just so ignorant with it. Remember, he was calling him glad, mm -hmm. so he just wanted no niggas, like, he don't give no fuck. But I just really feel bad, because it's just like, 
when we go stop the senseless violence though like give the white people really something to talk about well we just have a day where and we get together no they, that's when they go that's when they get scared why well, let's try let's try yeah, that yeah because let's you know the, the, the little thing they got it is that they scared if we unite because we go cause uproar but it's like like i told miss shelly at work we don't teach our kids hate. Like right now, my daughter, my kids, both my kids go to a school where they got white people and Mexican in that school. You hear me? Mm -hmm. And she'll come home and be like, yeah, my friend white. She just be like, my friend. Mm -hmm. But here y'all go, y'all teach hate. White people teach hate. Because I bet you gonna tell your kids, yeah, that's a nigga. You ain't even gonna have DC say that's a black person, but you ain't even gotta say that. Like, kids don't know racism. You hear me? Uh, but when I, man, that shit just, it just, it just, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm only really left because how we go from crunchy black to racist like <laughs> that. Like, I that just took a whole turn. Didn't I forgot me. what I said to make that point, but I had a point with that white people. Oh, you like that. Oh, being oh, able yeah, yeah, to yeah, unite, yeah. you know, but it's just like we we angry, but we ain't that angry. We don't give a fuck. We just angry because it's issues after issues after issues every single day. It's mm. still our issue. We look on TV and we see another black brother and sister like us dying. That's gonna ruin my whole day. Or a black kid dying or old person yeah, that's why i said on that's why i don't need to be i got another update do you know Tomorrow, the, old another man, update. You the 70 year old old man he played at um damn babe what he played he played in spike lee movies babe oh my god see another don't bring my spike lee no more he messed up shit right no he uh <laughs> you know who the nigga is so he played it quite but he uh he got murdered who got murdered? The guy that he was like, seventy years old and got murdered. He got murdered by a little by young nigga too. Nope, by a little young nigga. Robbing him. Probably, but we don't know. But Spike Lee put out a notice like if y'all could find someone, you know, to talk out to tell who did it because it's senseless. The nigga was old, you know, like who would want to kill him? But we they all know like, but the nigga got a line of uh. Of arrest though he been arrested since I think he was sixteen or some shit or since twenty seventeen type shit. Right. He got a line of arrest back to back like robbery and all that shit. So I don't know if the man knew him or not, but he was a good actor. Like if I knew his name, I'm gonna look him up once yeah. we done with the podcast. I'm gonna look yeah. him up. But look, um, speaking back on that uh, dude again, that Jerry uh, Harris dude. So, um, I guess with they, with they team, right? The chick, I guess the name of the show is called Chick of that Chick Team. Uh, I, like I said, I ain't, I didn't look deep into it yet, okay. but. It's on Netflix? Yeah. Okay, see, I ain't hear about the Jerry Harris, but what I did hear was they was exploiting little kids on that. On Netflix or on see, that? I thought it was on that, that Cheers with the Chili there and yeah. the Chili team, they was young. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I got to check yeah, it out and that see. That is it. That's the show. That's why I told you, like, I can, we could just get Disney Plus. I don't, we don't fuck with Netflix like that anyway. We just let them do it. I'll say you now, looking at be so bored with it. She always, she want to go to YouTube. So I'd rather do Disney Plus. I shot the only one. He watched that shit over and over. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't put my son out there. So, <laughs> with that being said... <laughs> Fuck them, and then Monique already had an issue with them, and it's like, bro, they not finna keep taking my little eight dollars. Well, we'll say your eight dollars, you pay it, but still, looks funny. What's the purpose of paying this shit? This shit we gotta start taking serious, cause these little girls just like it was a whole. Remember how I said they found the dozen little girls in Ohio? Mm-hmm. Why some more gonna miss? Them? In Ohio. in Ohio, so they took twelve and went, and they went to go get twelve back. Right, type shit. <laughs> like, 
Just, that shit fucked up. And I'm thinking about my little cousin, cause you know has two boys, two girls, and then he raising them on his own. Mm -hmm. Just think about the shit that they thought they was able to get away with, trying to sneak out or anything like that. Shit, sneaking all night, cost you your motherfucking life, yes, boy. Like you just so it's just like. I thank God that they ain't ever been in the position. What's the cases of boys being snatched? Shit, I wonder. I'm only asking because I'm just thinking about myself, how I used to travel back in the day. It'd be one, two, three in the morning. Gee, I'd be catching the bus, walking. Like, gee, I'm talking about a young age. It's, it's, I, I ain't saying I'm letting motherfuckers snatch low, me. It's low, but it's high because the fact that it's happening for boys, I feel like, because one of two reasons. I say because if they do take you, it's literally probably just to kill your ass, or Facts. they really just want some of what you got. You know, like because the rate is like I think because that's why we don't hear it like that. I think the rate is low, but it's happening. They just or like, they be raising their ass up to be pedophiles. Look at that, damn. Was. Don't sound like no crackhead over the radio. Don't do me like that. I want to like, like I ain't though. a part of this. See, now you gotta make me look like a bad guy. Nah, you good. But yeah. But you. But like I was saying though. But with dude though, speaking of that though, with dude, they said it's seventy eight people a part of them teams that's sex offenders. See, so you know the whole. How in the fuck? Thing. How in the fuck? Did y'all have 78 sex, sex offenders? offenders yeah, and one girl was on there saying that she got the job because she used her uh, sister information. Let me get that out of the She uh, used her sister social and all that shit. I'm just like, gee, that's the white people get over shit right there. Uh -huh. shit, I, don't, I mean, black people probably do that shit too, though. But I'm just saying. Like, I don't know. But that's what she said she did to get up in there, though. Mm -hmm. See, that's that shit. And it's like, just imagine how many kids. If it's seventy-eight sex offenders, think about how many kids they affected. That's over a thousand kids, cause each one of them, over a hundred, I should say, cause each one of them got a kid for themselves plus more. You know, mm. this one might have five. That one got two, three. Why is people even own that phone? Right, anyway? you get fucking up these kids' lives though. Like you're rich, you have money. Like I don't even understand all these women. Women out here. And dude just achieved stuff, hella accolades, man. And he See, out here doing that. Just like dude from back in the day, from the Zulu crew, he was uh, achieving hella accolades, and look what he's doing. P. Diddy was achieving hell accolades, but look what he's doing. Like, it's just all he is is doing shit. But see, I don't, but see, they ain't gonna look at it as if it's abuse because they making it a relationship thing. Not only is they forcing themselves on the person, but they making you think that it's okay. Mm -hmm. and, or if you just don't know better, because it's just like you gotta think about, like, at a certain age, everybody gullible. So it's just like Yeah, you know, then they use the fact that ooh, you you one of a kind, you in this situation. If I was you, I'd do this, this and that. Like, you know, or my influence, it's just they influence. That's why they tell you gotta have the right people around you, G like you you feel what I'm saying? Like you just gotta have the right cause it's just like you never know what can go on. That's what shit I ain't gonna lie I'm to the point to where I wanna put goddamn cameras on my goddamn kid clothes when they leave out this motherfucker name with me. I know shit. though that and we want to be wrong to do that shit because guess what? I bet we go get catch some shit. I, nah, I've been there. Yeah, because I'm going to catch a case. Because you can't trust anyone. Ain't nobody going to treat your baby how you treat your baby. For real. And these motherfuckers do not be caring. Like, even when I was saying, I remember, I'm like, oh, I want to open up daycare. I'd rather open up a little preschool type shit instead of a daycare. Like, it's like daycare form, but it's preschool though. Like, and I'm, I'm only yeah, saying that's that. that's preschool. It really is daycare. See, it just with learning. No, see, I'm saying with daycare, they don't focus. That's what I'm saying. Daycare, they don't focus on learning. But preschool do. Right. You so know what I'm saying? I'd rather do that. You know, like yeah. to where fuck all that. I'm babysitting your baby. We finna do this shit right. Like, you know, like 
I'm be babysitting your baby, but I'm gonna help it. That take is gonna take a village. I'm play. We gonna play like on the rocket ship. Or like they need to get their shit together. But I wanted to be on that type of curriculum for real, cause I feel like they shit so motherfucking raw. And if I could open a school to where we catch them at a young age, they gonna be geniuses for real, cause they're Genius, gonna be genius ready. like son. Yeah. They're going to be ready. Look he at her. He, he confident because he confident as fuck. Look, the teacher called on today. Well, she didn't even call on. She asked a question. Nigga raised his hand fast. I said, I'm like, come on now. I wouldn't even raise my hand that fast back in the day. You ain't my son. And then, too, I done had a few. You know how you report to me every time I come in. Yeah. Nigga, what I say, see, it ain't, that's how I know your daughter is your daughter, G. Because wow. it ain't put fair in her. But hell, I'm talking about I let them know, like... It ain't nothing you can fucking do. And if you don't get this shit together, nigga, it's gonna be hard for you. Like, I'm letting them know the raw. And, like, I'm, you looking at me, Aisha? You listening to me? Because, you know, his ass would be a la la land playing on You gotta get on toss, because my mama pep toss. I feel like that's what molded me through life. Like, but the nigga been on the road, you feel me? Sis. Yeah, you get on them. You know what I'm saying? I'm always, I, well, I feel like my job almost done. But you can't get no, mad at him, though, because he telling the truth, like, shit be boring. So that's all it be. Like, the shit boring, so it don't catch him. You hear me? Uh-huh. He could be doing other shit he feel like. But he, but I'm, but, but he, but he, but I'm going to say, though, he, he know, he know his shit, though. He that's what it. I'm saying, my nigga. Miss Galage be trying to catch my son off guard. Like, uh-uh. No, he I know, know that shit. But yeah, he raised his hand all fast, so I got mad. I'm like, nigga, we don't run. <laughs> Come on, boy. You know how we came up, nigga. We ain't raised our hand fast, nigga. Look, we sat in the to, back of the class. He wants to tell me, uh, that he had another good day that's all he still be trying to fight me shit that don't make no good day gonna, gonna tell me some day. shit uh he told me some i'm like man go on, sit down on the computer now uh he like what about food i said i'm about to make it he told me some, well make it quick i'm like <laughs> i'm like will you sit down quick he said hurry up i'm like <laughs> <laughs> i'm like i'm like i'm not gonna. so this cigar you said sit down it's basically G, yeah. and then got his little fist balled up. I'm like, G, I'm telling you, them bitches don't so hurt, little, G. G. They I'm telling so you, they don't hurt. They little didn't help. Like they are so little, but you see, I hold the motherfuckers up. Yeah, he, yeah. he be holding them up though. I told you. I, 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 that's baby that Mike Tyson daughter, right there. I'm gonna drop kick his ass. That's baby Mike. I'm turning that nigga to baby Mike Tyson. I ain't even done with him. This, this just enough to get him through the, this grade. Once he turned, once we get in the first second, I gotta we got up the stack skills hey, now. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna record <laughs> him and be like, cause I like it now. Remember that first thing? Know what to say? I, hey, look, I show what you gonna do if somebody try to hurt your sister. I pushed him. He and it's so funny because I would expect the, 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 him to the, say, knock him out or fight him. He but, said, I'm going to punch him. But look, that, that, the way he said, don't don't sound like it's going to be effective. But I, no, but I, but but I bet when you lay that motherfucker, it's going to be effective. Because I feel like he feel like he obligated. Like he, he, knows he, he is gotta, obligated. He got to get they out. Gonna, he's got to like, see me. Yeah, he... That punch him? Yeah, like, I know. Yeah, you nigga, do know. Y'all you better. Know. Y'all have to stress some shit now. It's, nah, a, I know it's a hard me world me. out here. We got to get ready. I know me and Will, but I don't want to tell her that shit because then she going to be start having fights in kindergarten, first grade. Yeah, she good. Like, she ain't going to be able nothing. to make it until high school without a fight. Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you ain't got to tell her nothing. Like, she going to be like, you for real when I say That's why we ain't got to tell her nothing. Oh, God. See, I take take I shine know I take it in and not use the shit. See, what well, see I'm gonna tell you what make it what make it so perfect because the fact that he ain't that type of person. Yeah, that's but why, yeah. I dug in there and to give him that side just you know what I'm saying, cause I could that mean that you you gonna know how to control it. Yeah. Because that's not even you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know people like that. So I'm like, I know I can train you right. And yeah. see, only problem he got is he tried to use that shit on me. Yeah. And he's just like, nigga, calm fuck down before I show you. It's so you. funny because you big, babe, you not big as in big like, as not big. only height, of course, you know. Then his Power Rangers got his head fucked up. But Power Rangers got him thinking he can beat me now. <laughs> but just think about a little squally little daddy. Like, you know that mm-hmm. he could have had any other daddy that was just like little short 
I don't think he could have any kind of daddy cuz No, I'm just saying cuz look. He, <laughs> no, he they would have been looking stupid as hell. So it's just be funny that he be trying to fight you Lord, that you be like be not big as a right. Fat. You made me feel like a house and shit. <laughs> no, but I'm saying like as a height, as a and, you know, as in as just know he he, he you could look at me and tell that ain't the nigga to be playing with, but he keep playing with right. It. You feel right, me? Because you know. these these real hitters right here. Boy, stop. Come on, I be, I told my mom best friend to tell me all the time. Just come here. Why you see your hands, boy? Them hands so big. No I bet you be knocking listen. people out with them. No, I don't tell my mom. I don't talk about it in front of my mama. That's all you say as a kid. Don't talk about it in front of my mom. No, I'm so <laughs> But, um, too, um, I've been saying a lot of Trump signs around. Who? Trump signs. Around here? No, like, you know, we drove today even when we was born. <laughs> Well, shit, just don't bring up the election around here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just crazy because they showcase uh, they, they just represent. Yeah, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it. That's what, but that's look, what kind of world it's in. Ain't nothing that's, wrong with it, but that's what make it fucked up that you that bold to re be trying to represent but, a nigga that stand for literally nothing. He'd stand for white people. Right. Well, I, I'm be honest with shit. If, if he, he stand for them, I don't know what he stand for. But I'm just saying, in they eyes, he stand for them, I guess. So that's what they're going to do. But we can't be mad at that because that's how the world set up is to be Republican and, you know, all that yeah. other extra shit. Like, that's literally what the world is built on besides them enslaving us and all that other good yeah, shit. Yeah, I know, but, but shit you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm used to living in the hood where you, I know for you ain't gonna see I'm a not sign. even gonna see that dumb ass shit. I'm gonna see, uh, you know, and not even like, okay, it's cool to be a Republican folk, but fuck that nigga though. I don't know how much of a Republican <laughs> you is. Fuck that nigga. You supposed to be I don't give a fuck if you gotta put aside I'm a Republican, but fuck Trump. Like, I don't even know if that's possible, but motherfucker better start making it possible. Like Damn. he not the type of motherfucker that is worth you trying to represent. Like it, it stands for everything wrong. But anyways, it was a guy that fasted for four days hoping that Donald Trump would be free of COVID because remember he got it or whatever mm -hmm. and do start praying, stop eating all this and that and he died four days later. Had a cardiac arrest, a fucking heart attack. He, a panic cause attack. He, yeah, because he like 50, 40, 50 years mm -hmm. old. Like why you Shit, last time I just heard Trump talking shit he ain't sound like he was doing too good shit. But look um, that shit Somebody uh, said, why he talk like he got a whole mouth full of Starburst all the time? Damn. That's fucked up. Like, yeah. Well, shit, I don't know what to tell his ass, but shit. Um, all I know is his ass need, I want to see, I just want to see, because he said if he lose, he ain't leaving. I just want to see. It, it's the U.S. service and the score him out this motherfucker. He's so fucking interesting. <laughs> just like a black person. That's what <laughs> a black motherfucker say. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can vote me out. I ain't going no motherfucker. Said, well. But for real though, he said he ain't leaving. Hey, babe. why don't he even tell them people that? That's that dumb ass shit. And then he holding the stimulus packet over here by the head talking about some motherfucking um, <laughs> I'm going to try to the vote. <laughs> I don't, I don't even want it. Hey, it. hey, I'm going to tell you this, though. I'm going to say this, though, on some real shit. And since Trump been in office, though, he been, he been, he been, he been having me die laughing. Shit, he say out his mouth, Cause though. Because he, he just, it just don't make no goddamn sense. He like, is, it ain't never been, it ain't never had, we ain't never had no president in the uh, White House as funny as this. I, I, because I cried when, when a girl threw the shoe at, um, uh, what the fuck, George Bush. I don't know if you saw that video. 
I cried, babe. But <laughs> that's what I'm saying, though. But but, but Trump been taking the cake, though. And, and it's crazy that you say you've been holding that over my uh, head because I've been feeling like shit. I'm like, man, damn, Trump still ain't released them checks. I'm oh, like, God. shit. And, and I'm just like, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, see, if I was Trump, I, I'm like, shit. He, I'm like, why would I release some shit if I'm finna get about this bitch in a week? So I wait. So I understand him. So I'm like, you on that bullshit. Yeah, so. Yeah. But it's just like, nah, nah, it'd be funny if, <laughs> it ain't even funny, but if Trump, if, if Trump was to lose, right, and then Joe get in there, and then don't give out no stuff. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, motherfucker go be, be ready to cast that boat right back in on us. <laughs> no, we won't, no, it's fucked, the ballot's fucked up. Hey, hey so all type of news gonna get the dropping on his ass. Yeah, well, I don't respect oh, that all. Man, uh, uh, Car 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 Carmela Harris, she better step her ass. So as she said we ain't doing the Simmons package, she better step her ass the fuck down, cuz they gonna come for her head too. You supporting this shit? You supposed to be for the black people? It's gonna go down <laughs> it's gonna go down this motherfucker it's gonna be a whole nother motherfucker riding this motherfucker I swear but to God. i don't want it i don't because guess what chicken butt what just like how i asked for a raise they yes i gave me no raise but i find funny because they gave us that raise for that little few weeks and it's like Shit, they can't give y'all ass no raise. They probably finna shut the motherfucking city back down again. Shit. But that's what I'm saying. Why not give me the raise when There's no I all I know is they shut when this... I'm when I'm still risking my life coming out here to serve. And is you know how many motherfuckers that don't go to work purposely because of COVID? That's cause they comfortable enough to be able to do some shit like that. Facts. This is what they rainy days are called. You get what I'm saying? And guess what? Talk your shit. They white ass probably went up in there, asked they ass for a motherfucker raise, and they got that bitch. But here go I'm a, a black motherfucker who do exceptionally well. A motherfucker ain't heard shit back yet, and it's like I'm here risking my life. I had a scare thinking that I uh. Had COVID because they motherfucker temperature thing was fucked up. And it's like, I ain't got time to play with y'all ass. Like, but that's I shit. thought about bringing one in my job. Like, man, let me test y'all ass. For real, though, but... sitting around all these motherfuckers. They probably, yeah, yeah, you know, they ain't got no temperature. Th you know, shit at home. So. Well, I just know I keep my mask on straight deck. Mm. I ain't gonna play with y'all. But <laughs> I ain't play with y'all. Yeah. But man, we're gonna call it tonight, man. It was nice talking to y'all. We're gonna see y'all on another episode. Peace out. It's your boy Sean Meach and Boss Lady in the Cut. <laughs>